So good morning everyone. Hi, this is Kumar Pri. I am Anmol Palkar. And we have Golin in our team and we have Manjot in our team. So the topic that we chose for our assignment is understanding diversity. So we are going to explain the topics and Anmol will be discussing all the topics in front of you. So our first topic is what is diversity? Why it is important in the workplace? Strategies to build diverse workplace? How to maintain smooth functioning of diverse workplace? Equity, inclusion and what's the difference between diversity, equity and inclusion? As these terms are very important in our workplaces. What is empathy or social awareness? And what are its types? And nowadays most of the workplaces are facing challenges to diversity so we will discuss what are these challenges and how to tackle these challenges. So now Kumar is going to discuss with the first topic. Yeah, so for the very first topic we have the basic definition of diversity. So in my opinion I believe that diversity is a type of practice that involves the, that helps in involving people from different social and ethnic backgrounds and also the people with different religion, gender, sexuality under one roof. In our assignment, we chose the basic point of our, of our assignment is workplace diversity. That, our central, that is the central part of our assignment. So in my opinion, workplace diversity is people from different culture, education, backgrounds. They come under a single organization and they work for a business and they work for the betterment of a business. They try to collaborate their education, their experiences under one group for an organization and they want to get more and more level of experience for their organization. Second thing, uh, in my also opinion, workplace diversity is all about respecting each other's beliefs because if I'm not able trying to catch the beliefs of Anmol Palkar or Gurleen, so it's about how I'm we are collaborating with each other that comes under workplace diversity. Moving further. So, yeah, so the second topic that I'm going to be discussing is about why diversity is important in workplace. So very first thing is creativity. It is often said that many minds bring an innovative idea. So the very first thing is creativity because if all many people from different backgrounds are working under one project, so they are bringing their own innovative ideas into an a project that can bring creative and new ideas for the organization. Second thing is better problem solving. Sometimes in different cultures, problem solving has different definitions. So uh, it also helps to solve problems easily because uh, when I try to consult with one of my colleague or one of my mate, so I can easily try to cap capture the problem and I, I can easily find the solution to it as soon as possible. The third thing that I believe is Increase in productivity and profits. When many people, like we all know in workplace diversity, there is always a competition between peers. So that competition at the end brings you more and more self-confidence, which you can try. That competition is a, not a like crucial competition, but it's a kind of healthy competition that can bring you more profits at the end because everyone tries to give their 100% efforts. Fourth is reduced rate of employee turnover. Employees in workplace diversity, if they get connection with their colleagues and peers, they try to stay in that organization that can bring their own satisfaction to the organization and also they try to love in being in a part of that family of that organization. So they don't, they don't leave their job. So they are getting attracted to their job that gives at the end their loyalty for the organization. So it's in my opinion, I had a research on this topic. So I found that on Indeed, it showed that 15% of diverse workplace bring more profits than the place where there is a single diversity. So diversity is important at all consequences. So now I'm going to discuss strategies to build more diverse workplace. Our first strategy is as reach out specific communities. Employers should reach out specific communities in order to target uh, people from different communities. For example, if I'm having a cute trade business, I want to hire Indian people. So I should reach the recruitment uh, agencies that will help me in order to hire Indian people. For, and another example is in order to hire Chinese people, they should reach Chinese communities for hiring Indians. They should specifically go to Indian communities. In this way, they will be able to hire diverse workers workforce. So next strategy is adjust training methods. Training should be customized according to the needs of different employees of different communities. If 
um, as I'm an international student, if I'm facing difficulty in speaking in English, they should give me training to learn more English so that I could easily communicate with them. If the people from the Chinese community, they don't know how to do particular thing, they should give the training about that. For example, I'm working at the Tim Hortons. As I'm purely vegetarian, I didn't know earlier about any of the non-vegetarian food. So in my workplace, they have given me specifically, particularly training about the non-vegetarian food. But it is, they have given the training from the starting. Whereas the another person who knows everything about the non-vegetarian food, they have not given him training about that thing. So similarly, every employer should adjust the training methods according to the employee requirements. The third strategy is avoid blind recruitment. So you can see this picture. Employer is hiring without thinking anything. So we can say just on the base of reference. If Kuvar will put my reference to any employer, he should not hire me just because of reference. He should hire me according to my skills, my proficiency. Uh, although the funny thing is, when I came here, I got hired on the base of my uh, reference of my sister. I didn't know anything. But sometimes it demotivates to other people because those who have skills might not be hired. I was hired just because of reference. So I want that this should be totally avoided. Employers should avoid blind recruitment. So next topic I'm going to discuss is how to maintain smooth functioning of diverse workplace. It is true that in diverse workplace conflicts are there. Every time, every single day there are conflicts. But it's employer's duty to run it smoothly. Be fair. Equality is must. Every employee should be treated equally. In order to, uh, in order of the wages, equal pay, equal thoughts, equal beliefs. Everybody has different opinions, but employees should treat them equally. So, if I'm doing work 100% and the another uh, Filipino guy is doing 90%, and he is getting more wages than me, I will feel demotivated. So employers should totally discontinue this practice. They should treat equally whether we belong to diverse cultures. Respect all beliefs equally. Coover has different opinion. I am having different opinion. And in this whole world, everybody has different opinion. So it's the duty of each and every employer to respect and give attention to each and every belief. So next is equity and inclusion. That will be discussed by Gurlinka. I am going to discuss the topic of equity and inclusion. Arthur Chen has said that diversity is a fact, equity is a choice, inclusion is an action and belonging is an outcome. So what is equity? Equity refers to the fair treatment to everyone so that their identity doesn't come in between the opportunities provided to them. On the other hand, inclusion. Inclusion refers to the, belong, uh, to the feeling of belongingness to a place so that the workforce can have a positive experience and can contribute equally to the organization. Now we are going to discuss the difference between the term equity and equality. These uh, terms look similar and are often used interchangeably, whereas, uh, but there is a huge difference between these two terms. Equity refers to the understanding the circumstances of a person and treating them accordingly so that the end result is same, while equality uh, refers to uh, treating everybody same. For example, in this picture, uh, if the stool is provided, if a single stool is provided to everyone, that would be called equality. But if uh, understanding the circumstances that he is younger and he couldn't see uh, uh, the match from here and providing him two stools, so that would be considered as uh, equity. Now we are going to discuss the challenges to diversity. The first challenge is communication barrier. So if there is a diverse workforce, so the people of different region would speak different languages so people would not uh, be able to understand each other. Although there will be bilingual um, colleagues who would be able to overcome these differences but still it is a time consuming task to understand and comprehend. This often leads to misunderstanding which can cause a toxic work environment uh, which in result leads to uh, low productivity and profits for the organization. 
The second challenge is navigating immigration and employment laws. Being an, being an operational challenge, it often uh, restricts the most capable candidate to be hired. Even if a company hires a person, he still may not uh, accept the offer because he may feel that there is huge complexity, he needs to change the country and uh, then may he may not be able to uh, adjust there. So it is a big challenge to diversity. The third challenge is conflict because of different work habits. If we have diverse workforce, they will have different working styles, different personalities, different per perspectives. For example, let's consider a workforce where Gen Zs are, where there is a group of Gen Zs who, who are co coders and they need to work with people who are in their 50s. There will, there will be difference of ideas and opinions. The, uh, the people in their 50s may feel that they are more experienced and out of superiority they may reject all the ideas of the Gen Z. And on the other hand, the Gen Z may feel that the older generation are out of trend and don't know about the, uh, don't know about the latest trends. Another challenge is aligning diversity with organizational goals. So if we feel that, uh, okay, we, uh, a manager comes in and he decides that today we are going to uh, change the proportion of employees. Uh, uh, this percent of employees would be from this country and uh, from this background. So people would not be able to welcome and support the decision. They need to, uh, they need to form a, a framework so that the organizational goals can be inclined with the individual goals. And the last challenge is overcoming bias. Maybe the decisions are made on the basis of beliefs and intuition rather than facts and knowledge. So in order to help someone, it can cause harm to others. It can cause dishonesty and distress among the colleagues, which can uh, lead to toxic uh, work environment. So now I'm going to discuss what is social awareness or MP. Social awareness normally means MP. That is putting yourself in the shoes of other people, understanding how they are feeling, what are their circumstances, what are they going through and how they are responding. It is very crucial for positive and healthy environment. So what are the types of empathy? Earlier by the Daniel Gorman and Paul Aikman, two types were given. That is cognitive empathy and emotional empathy. So what is the cognitive empathy? It is the ability to understand another person's feeling and thoughts in that situation. Just one person imagines how the other person is feeling and it helps to convey a message. Second one is emotional empathy. It is uh, in the way ability to respond in appropriate way to another individual. For example, if she is crying, if anybody is crying, I will say her what, is, uh, what happened with her, why she is crying. I will appear to be sad. Whether my circumstances are not set, but I will show that I am set. So it is the ability to respond in particular way. If one person is laughing, I will also laugh with her or him. The third type that is given by Aikman is compassionate empathy. It is regarded as key to human connection. Why it is regarded as key to human connection? Because it is the ability to feel, understand and connect with other people. She has told me that she is not feeling well. Then I will try to understand why she is not feeling well. Then I will feel it, understand it, and I will try to connect it with her and I will try to give solution to her. That is called compassionate empathy. And that is very important in each and every workplace. So now the next topic is solution to challenges of diversity. That will be discussed by Manju. We will be discussing about the solution to the challenges of the diversity. So every employee should understand the individual difference based on the caste, gender and uh, sex. So uh, treat the, each employee fairly. So um, the manager of the company has to treat the employee fairly. So that every employee who is working uh, same has to given the same pay no matter the, it is male or female. So after that uh, the employee has to avoid the uh, blind recruitment it means that employees should check the ability and skills of the different people before hiring the people so that they can work 
uh, good for the company so after uh, hiring the, it uh, the every employee employee should accept the diversity the employee who is not accepting the diversity they should got the warning from the employer or manager uh, if they are still uh, not following the diversity so they got fired immediately uh, that will be the good result for the company so now at the end we are going to present an activity to give a better explanation of the topic understanding diversity So now guys look at this cup what did you come to know from this cup I think it is half filled but in my opinion i think it's half empty yeah it's half empty so why it is half empty why she is correct why am i not wait wait guys you both are correct i just want to let you know that you both have different opinions he is thinking from different perspective you are thinking from different perspective and in my perspective it is just a cup of water so we all are correct similarly in every workplace people can give different opinions they have different beliefs but it doesn't mean one person is wrong one is right so respect diversity thank you thank you thank you so much